Hello and welcome to episode 277. We are going to be making an atmospheric dynamic heartbeat. Add a bit of tension as your players are sneaking around through the maps. Uh, now I made this one because uh, there was a comment from the, Gre the Green Guy Greens on episode 268 where we had the, the dynamic light. And he said, oh, that'd be good for a horror map. And I thought, ooh, horror map. Maybe we should have a heartbeat. Let's turn it on. I'll be quiet. So at the moment, it's very slow. Not much tension. Nothing scary happening. Okay. And we're in version 1.19. But what we can do is we can change the interval. So when it gets scary, we now have faster. Now I've done a big jump there. I've gone from quite slow to quite fast. We probably want to sort of ramp it up slowly as the player progresses through the map but that is what we're going to be making and i'll tell you what it's such a simple little thing but it really adds tension to the map especially if they're creeping around in the dark i think it's probably basically why they do it in film so often so there's two ways to do it and i will show you both ways and let's get on with that now right there are a couple of ways to do this so i'll do the first way and then i'll show you the alternative First thing we're going to need is a timer. So let's get a timer set up. Scoreboard, objectives, add, and I might as well call it timer because that's what it is. Done, make sure we create it. Normally you'll be running those in chat anyway. You wouldn't be doing it in a command block. Once it's there, it's there forever. Well, unless you remove it. I don't see why you'd want to. Controller, so we need a, a lever for that one. Let's increment the timer. Let's get the timer going up. Scoreboard, players, add. We need a fake player. I'm going to call them heart. Add one to their timer score. Now we reset the timer. Execute if score. Heart, timer, matches. Ooh, 100 or higher. Run, scoreboard players reset so we're setting it to null we're not setting it to zero heart you can set it to zero if you wanted to timer it looks like we've got an old objective there okay so that should just be constantly resetting 71 85 back to one cool that's doing its job now let's get some sounds happening execute if score heart timer matches one only one not one or higher just one run play sound block if you've got a resource pack you can add your own heartbeat but i'm only using what we've got in the game so i'm going to add the bass drum on the master channel to all players at the location there Volume of one, a pitch of 0.5 and a minimum volume of zero. So if they walk away, it's going to get quieter. Now there is a mistake in that command and I'll show you in a minute. So that's playing on one and let's do it again on 10. So we've got a boom, boom, 10. Right, turn it on, 28. It's going to go round and it's not actually 80. It's not actually going to make any sound. See, we've already gone past one and now we've gone past 10. This gets me every time, and it's because they've misspelt the word bass drum. They spell it like that, using that word bass, which is not correct, but that's how they spell it. So if I want it to work, I'm going to have to do the same. There we go. So we've got our heartbeat. It's very slow, but there's nothing scary happening at the moment. So that could just run in the background. There we go. We're walking around in the dark. Been a little bit scary now let's change things up maybe it's getting scarier we will change the interval so the length of time between each heartbeat let's change the interval now what i want to do is i want to change the command block so this one we've got 100 let's Copy the position of that command block. Fill tab, tab, tab. 
copy and let's do a data merge on a block that block there what data do we want well the data I want to merge I want to merge a command those are not speech marks okay what command do I want well I really I just want the command that's in there already but I'm going to change this interval so let's speed it up twice as fast you might not want a bigger jump like that you can do change it to any speed you like uh, let's go a little bit faster so we have data merge position of that block into its command there we go pretty slow so if we press this now now we might we're over twice as fast now when we can see in here this has changed so if we wanted to do a reset for that all we'd have to do is control middle mouse copy the block pop it down and say reset reset the interval and we'll just change that back to 100 now we've got a reset pretty fast okay reset it now it's much slower okay that's working now let's re let's change the speed between the beats um so let's get the coordinates of this block field tap 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 copy pop you down there data merge with the block at those coordinates what do we want to merge in we want to merge in a command what command do we want to put well let's just copy this command copy and we'll just paste it in there and we'll change the interval so let's change it to four it's probably about as fast as you want any faster it's going to be not sound like a heartbeat like boom. let's call this change beat that'll do and we might as well have a reset for it as well got a sign reset beat we want to set that back to 10 now 10 done okay so slow that's nice and slow and then we can change the interval and the beat speed there we go it's getting a bit scarier tension is ramping get it super scary how fast can we make it before it just sounds stupid that's probably about as fast as you'd want to go but if I was playing a map and that started off slowly and it started getting to about this speed as I'm walking through the dark I'm going to be getting a little bit worried okay so that's one way we can do it nothing wrong with it but we can do a different way as well so I might as well show you just so you can see it so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a couple of constants so we've got our timer objective I'm just going to use the same objective and I'll set up a couple of constants so we'll have scoreboard players set heart uh, what do we call a heart interval will do heart interval set their timer to 100 that's the default I'm going to control middle mouse that put another one down and the other one was called beat wasn't it we called it so we'll say heart beats as well and I think the default for that was 10 done so now we've got two scores we're using the two scores but we're gonna to have to check for them so let's go into here and this is a bit we want to change execute if score heart timer matches 20 we want to change we don't want matches 20 we want is equal to or is is equal or higher than heart interval timer done and then we'll go in here if score heart timer matches one no we're going to change that if score heart timer equals heart oh no this one needs to stay as one doesn't it we want that one to stay as one so let's check we didn't change that one we're changing the rule yeah so on one it beats and then we want to change the second beat let's change this one matches four is a no 
equals, not equals or higher, just equals heart beat dot timer done. So we shouldn't really make sure we press that to set those have any difference yet. It's going to be, it'll run exactly the same. There we go. Nice slow heartbeat. Now let's change. Let's change the interval. And we can change the interval just by going over here. We'll copy this command and we just change this score. So we'll paste that in there. And then I'll make the reset as well. So the reset is going to change the score to 100. And what were we changing it to in here? Third, 20. So we now, now all we have to do is change the score. We don't have to merge any commands. We just have to change the score. That's all we have to do. And then I'll copy that, put it there. This will be change the beat. And we change that from heart interval to heart beat. And I think we said four when we changed it. You can play with the numbers. And for our reset, control middle mouse. And the reset was back to 10, wasn't it? Back to 10. Done. Okay. So it's nice and slow at the moment. Nothing too scary happening. And then we can do change interval, change beat. And we've got the fast sound. This is nice. Uh, you could assign, as players walk into different areas, you could just change their score. Or you can literally just have their score slowly ticking up. Let's try that, actually. I don't know why I'm doing it. You shouldn't do things on the fly. We know that. We know it all goes wrong if we do things on the fly. But let's reset the interval, reset the beat. And here, let's copy this command here. And let's get rid of the play sound bit. Okay, so execute if heart timer equals heartbeat timer. Or let's change let's change that to just equals one. So every reset. So let's just say matches. Oh, we've we've put it in the wrong place. Look. Execute if score heart timer matches one. So every time it equals one, let's let's do scoreboard players um, add heart interval. Let's add let's add ten to that constant. So every time it goes through the loop it should speed up. Let's find out what happens. Okay, so that's played at 100. This time it should play at 90. Then it should play at 80. Then it should play at 70. Is it? See, to me, it sounds like it's doing the same. Yeah, look, 75. Okay, why? <laughs> because we've got that, look at that, we've got that horrible error, the space on the end. Look at the command, it's all nice, it looks good. The evil space, there we go. So now it should be 90. Now it should be 80. 61, 72. It's not 80. Why is it not 80? Players add heart interval timer 10. Because we've added. Remove. Let's set them. Oh, let's set them to their defaults. Come on, work for me. This is why we don't do things on the fly. 71. 83. That sounded like it changed at 90. Should be 80 this time. That was 80. This time should be 70. We've got 27 there at the moment. 59. Yeah, this time should be 60. Now it's speeding up. There will be a problem with this though. 20. 
You'll see the problem is just... Oh, it stopped. We killed it. Well, we've killed it. Let's reset it. Because I think probably what we've done is we've gone all the way down to zero and then into minuses. So you'd probably want to put a lower limit on that. So maybe execute if score heart timer matches one if score heart timer. Actually, we don't need two of those. We'd need a way to stop it. Um, if score, yeah, if score heart interval timer matches 20 or higher. There we go. That should make it, that should make it, oh no, we want it to stop at 20. We'll say 21 or higher. There we go. So now when it gets down to 20, it's not going to run heart interval. There we go. So now it will just slowly tick down get faster and faster and faster and it'll stop at 20. Certainly speeding up. Yeah. What are we on there? 46. 11. Faster. Faster. And now we're at 20 and it's not going to go any slower. Okay. Right, that's it. So let's stop playing around with I, I don't know why I started playing around. Rule number one, never start playing around when recording. Anyway, it worked. Got away with it. There's a bit of um, atmospheric, dynamic, heart-beating sound effect uh, you can put in your map when people are walking around in the darkness. It really does increase the tension. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye.